guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am Alex. For those of you who are new, I wanted to do a video focused on just contouring. I get so many questions on contouring and highlighting, but mostly contouring. It is probably my favorite part of doing somebody's makeup. It's really where you see the makeup come to life and you know the transformation. So I wanted to do a video focused on that for you guys. I had a special request, so hopefully you're watching. And if you want to see how I contour my face, then please keep watching. So I am just going to jump into it. My skin is already prepped and my eyes are already done. I've moisturized and primed my face, which is always my first step, as you guys know. So the next step in my contouring routine is to do my foundation. I am really like, I'm holding on to this spray tan. Just like a couple more days. La Mer foundation, and this is in shade Buff 23A. It's definitely darker than my face, but my body is still tan from the spray tan. It always comes off your face first, which is so sad. So I, I like to just do like five little dots on my face, just so it doesn't get like too thick. But you really can spread out this foundation. A damp beauty blender, I am just going to start blending this out. And it's gonna blend out like a lot like don't forget your ears it definitely blends out like you can make it as heavy or as light as you want and it just gives your fin to skin your fin your skin such a luminous glow but like without making you look oily whatever foundation you are comfortable using and normally use um whether it's like and doesn't really matter what coverage it is like whatever you are used to using just make sure that whatever it is matches your body. Once you have a nice thin coat of foundation on in my face, I get to start the fun part, which is the contouring. There are so many different ways to contour and so many people do it differently. I personally like starting with the concealer. I'm gonna use the Kim KW concealer today in shade five. So I like concealing first just because I like to see my face really bright and then get to sort of bronze it up that afterwards it just I don't know I like it better so I like to take it a little up the sides of my nose and I'm just sort of creating almost like a V shape and then I also take this time to sort of carve out the shadow and bring some lightness up here as well and then I repeat the exact same thing on this side I switch my concealer per season I think a lot of people don't so when they have a tan in the summer months they're using a concealer that's too bright for them so i definitely recommend getting a second concealer for the summertime if you are going to be like contouring for any events or anything so i like to do the center of my forehead like so sort of like a palm tree literally like drawing a palm tree and then you're going to do a very careful thin line down the center of your nose, like that. Okay, how come it looks straight on me, but then not straight on the monitor? Am I crazy? Not crazy, it's straight. And I also like to do my chin right here. So the idea of contouring is quite simple. It's what you wanna bring forward, what you wanna lighten, it's to fake, bone structure that people don't have and sort of, you know, allow people to really like change the shape of their face. It's really quite cool what you can do with it. I'm just going to tap this all out with my damp beauty blender. Just be careful when you get to this part. I always leave the nose till the end because I kind of like to let that like sort of dry in place almost. It's like so relaxing just about Blending. Contouring can be done in like so many different ways. You don't need to do so many layers and so many steps. It just depends on how crazy you want to go. I go the craziest I can for you guys just so you can see. When I get to the center of my nose, I'm just going to very lightly tap this in place and like have patience with it. Don't rush this part because you don't really want this line to move because the straighter it is and the more like clear it is in place the better your nose contour is going to be. So, just 
slowly, slowly, slowly. Into my Tom Ford Shade and Light palette. As you can see, this is a very used product, and I'm sad I've hit pan because it's expensive. I'm going to take it on a small concealer brush. You can do this on a kabuki brush, you can do this really on any brush. Just to be more precise, to show you guys for today, I'm going to use a concealer brush. So you want to go in the hollow of your cheekbone. It's like sort of starting from your tragus and if you could imagine an imaginary line to like the edge of your lip, we are going to stop about halfway. So I'm just going to draw a nice clear line. You want to make sure it's under where you want your cheekbone because that's going to give the illusion of the shadow and then I'm just going to kind of cup it up as I get towards the cheek. So I'm going to really create a shadow faking that this part of my cheek right here is more plump than it actually is. I'm going to get my beauty blender and I'm just going to lightly tap this in. And if anything, you want to bring it a little more up than you do down the product. You don't want to bring the product too far down because then you're going to sort of miss where you want to create that shape. You can see it's a little more chiseled on that side than it is on that side. And I really like this shade and light palette. I definitely think it's worth the money and has been worth the money because it's very subtle. It's nothing like too crazy and it's easy to work with. And you want to use something that isn't too dark and too crazy for you because you're going to get overwhelmed that way. So now I'm going to do the perimeter of my forehead. And if you have a big forehead and you want the illusion that your forehead is smaller, this is a perfect step for you. And it will give the illusion that your forehead is shortened. I'm also, while I'm here, going to just do my jawline. I also like taking the product like right down here, which is also going to help accentuate the jawline then back into the beauty blender and I'm going to blend all of this out. Like because it is such a subtle color, it is also going to warm up my face at the same time. It's going to give me definition where I want definition but in a very soft, natural kind of way. Now the favorite part is my nose. I love contouring noses. It's like such a fun transformation and people really like love the difference I think it makes on them. It's sort of where you see it the most. So I like to start at the tip of my nose. This is going to give the illusion that my nose is sort of more upwards. This is where you have to be pretty precise and careful. So I like to start right where that shadow actually is in my, right under my brow, into my eye socket. You take it and you're going to draw a very nice straight line down the part of your nose and this is where I want that like line to be this is how you create the shape right so I know that I my nose really ends here but I want it to look like it ends here so I'm that's where I'm gonna draw this line I'm going to go into a smaller brush for this part and I'm just going to very lightly and very slowly start brushing this, sort of buffing it into place. So I have a little bit more control of the product than I would with the Beauty Blender. You never want to bring it like in, you want to keep it away. Once it's sort of blended in, or mostly blended in, you can just go in and sort of swipe with your beauty blender just to make sure that there's no like harsh line sometimes I'll even go back in with my concealer and just do a little bit of a line on the side of my nose so that when I blend the two together it sort of helps it become a little bit more natural and more seamless going in with the brush on the other side. And then when I'm done with all that, I'll just take the Beauty Blender and just go over the top of it. 
just to make sure everything make sure everything is blended in perfectly so now all the cream products are done and I get to set everything with powder products so I'm going to first set my entire face with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder in cheek number two just taking a big brush I like to just press this all over my skin um, I especially like to do this with the La Mer foundation only because it has oil in it and if I want it to really last me all day without like me starting to look oily it just gives me sort of that extra layer of like locking in those oils if that makes any sense don't worry it's not going to mattify you too much I know that's like some people's concern it'll just like preserve your makeup for longer once I've done that I'm going to set where I actually highlighted and concealed but instead of using the flawless filter in shade 2 I'm going into the lighter one on a smaller brush and I'm just going to set right under my eyes make sure that your concealer is tapped in under your eyes and that there's no creases because then you're going to be setting those creases and I like to bring this up the sides of my nose as well so center of the forehead really everywhere that you brightened I like to put this down the top of my nose I also like to take the lighter color and I just like to do a nice like very slowly so I have control of where I'm putting it, line underneath the contour just to sharpen up that edge. So to continue contouring, I'm going into my Tom Ford bronzer. This is in O2 Terra. Holy crap, my products are kind of bougie today. Going in on my Kat Von D brush and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that product. Always tap it off. It is always easier to add and build your contour than it is to take away one that's too dark and muddy. So just remember that. And I'm just going to go on top of where I placed the cream contour earlier. And I'm just, this is just going to accentuate that, right? So now we can just add a little drama to where we want. I like the darkness to be really just like more focused here and stop like halfway through just because like I find it creates more of a realistic cheekbone than if you bring it too far forward into your cheek. I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know why I like to start off with padding motions just because I feel like if I start like twirling too early it like might move some of my cream products even though I've set it but I don't know, you can never be too safe. So especially if you haven't set your face with powder, then definitely I recommend padding. Take your time with this. If you want it to look real and you want it to be nice, take your time and practice before, like, you know, you're going to an event or something like that. This is one of those things that starts to get really easy and really self-explanatory after you've done it a couple of times. Again, I'm just following where I put the cream contour and you don't even need to use a cream contour like I said you can use as many steps as you want like sometimes I go to fancy events and I don't use a cream contour I only use a powder under my nose with what's ever left in my brush I'm not adding any more product I'm just gonna do right here on my jaw I never like this part to be too harsh back into a small eye pen I shadow brush that's sort of like flat and picking up a bit of that shadow really tapping it off on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna very lightly go over just the sides of my nose where I want to accentuate that contour okay, so now I'm nice and contoured like look at my faux cheekbones and my faux nose job. It really can transform your face. It is such a cool thing to know how to do and take your time with it. It's fun. I'm going to finish off my face because you guys are here, so why not? I am just going to add a little bit of highlight and blush. This is my Milani blush in shade Romantic Rose. And I'm just going to put this right on the apples of my cheek. Just to give me some nice color. For highlight, I am going into my Fenty Beauty 
kilowatt highlight, getting it up on my Morphe brush, just this one right here. Uh, maybe I'll mix them. So where the light naturally hits my face, and it's right above the contour. You want them to be connected, you know? You don't want them to be separate, so it's lower down than people think. Whoa, how crazy is this highlight? It's so nice. I like to bring it and connect it with the arch of my brow highlight and a bit above my brow. And a little bit right here. A little on my chin. I don't like to put too much on my chin because then it looks like I just like had a hamburger or something. Like greasy, that drip on my chin. You ever feel that way? really crazy bright. I like to do a little on the, my lip before I go in with lipstick so it comes through the lipstick a bit and on a really little Morphe brush for the center of my nose contour. So I like to just do sort of an exclamation point so right at the tip down the center. You can just tap it in with your finger. So I am going to finish off my eyes and put on some lipstick and I will be right back. Okay, so my eyes are done, my lips are on, and I've set my face with a bit of Fix Plus. It is really important to set your makeup. I definitely recommend it. If you're going through all these steps, it is just one more step and it really will help not only keep your makeup on all day, but sort of just melt the makeup into your skin and melt the makeup together so it just looks more natural and part of your skin. This was my contouring session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It is such a fun part of makeup is getting to see the transformation in people's faces and in your own and sort of learning how to do it and perfect it. So take your time with it, like really experiment. It really is something that seems more intimidating than it actually is and is something that's really fun and relaxing to do. So. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I can't wait to see your transformations. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.